Hi folks, welcome to part two of the spooky Halloween Wednesday widget. So I thought part one was fun and using those servo motors to drop the spider with the ping sensor, I think that's pretty cool stuff, but I think this is even cooler. We're gonna use this scream sensor to detect if somebody screams when that spider gets dropped. And if so, we're gonna use this 110 volt AC solenoid to activate via a power tail and spray the uh, unsuspecting trick-or-treaters with some silly string. Welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. One of the keys for this project to work is a solenoid that has enough power. And a lot of the smaller DC ones just aren't power enough to activate the silly string tip. So the fact that we're working with 110 volt AC is no problem, but you've got to be careful, folks. AC power is, is strong. But I do really like this uh, solenoid. There's a link in the video description. It's got a spring auto return and it comes with two leads. And we just use an extra old computer cable to splice in with some wire nuts the two lines into a standard, standard plug, which is great to work with our power tail right here. Our power tail has the empty plug and then this will plug right into our wall outlet. The three outputs on the power tail, they're not actually labeled that well. They're one, two, and three. One is the positive in, which is this red wire, which goes to plus five volts. Two is negative in, which is the white wire. I'm using that on Arduino digital pin three. And the last one is ground, which is correctly labeled as this black wire going over here to ground. For our screen sensor in the back here, also super easy. That's actually labeled correctly. It has a ground, a plus five, and then this purple cable right here is goes to analog in zero. That's all there is, folks. Let's take a look at the Arduino code. We really only have to add a few things from the first video on this project. We have a new integer for scream, and then we have this scream loop, and we have a scream threshold. That's how high the level is that we wanna count as a scream versus just you know talking. So same code all the way through here, but what happens is when we drop the spider, we start this loop and that's what the screen loop is. And it goes from zero to a thousand. And every time it loops through, it looks, it reads the scream sensor and it's listening for a scream. Again, this is right when that spider drops. We've got some serial outputs to help us debug. And if the screen value, again, that's what it's measuring, is greater than the threshold, then all we do is activate the power tail, which is the digital write that pin three low, wait two seconds, so it's gonna spray them with silly strings for about two seconds, and then move it back to high. Once that has happened, in other words, once it detected a scream and it does that spray for two seconds, we're gonna break out of this loop. And then it's gonna go back to the rest of the normal operation, which is waiting for four seconds and then lifting the spider back up. That's it. Code is available to download the link in the video description. Let's put it together. Easiest way to do this, we're just gonna use that same broomstick and some zip ties. The zip ties will actually hold the solenoid and the can of silly string on just fine, especially since this is a Halloween prop. It's not gonna stay out there for months or years. Let's give it a quick test. Woo, works. Okay, outputting our height distance. Let's see if we come in here. Woo, woo! <laughs> That's kind of funny, right? All right. That's my uh, fun Halloween Wednesday widget. You can uh, do with this what you want. I think the screen sensor though, the concept of that and being able to so easily control something is awesome. I know, uh, you know, I know this looks a little bit uh, rinky dink, but I, I want people to be able to do this that don't have million machines or complex stuff or a more kid friendly project. And for you kids out there, you do need to get your parents or an electrician's help with any of the higher voltage stuff. Uh, power tails are great, but they're not you know, you can still hurt yourself if you don't know what you're doing with exposed wires and so forth. They're also not rated for um, outdoor or rain use. So that's something you gotta be careful about as well, depending on you're gonna set this up inside your door or whatnot. Um, it's really windy today, which is why we're filming this indoors, which kind of stinks because version one we did do outdoors. But anyways, with that folks, have a very, very happy Halloween. Take care, see you soon.